Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Juta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sadvadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vitamsha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dinavando Jagatpade Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vindavaneshwari Vishavanu Sate Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpataru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyayvacha Patita Nam Pavane Vyo Aishave Vyo Namo Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Siya Dvaita Gadadhar Shiva Shadi Gaura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I would like to thank so many of the devotees coming for morning program on Saturday, today is Saturday, uh, it's really wonderful, I felt like a Sunday program this morning, um, it would be nice, it's very encouraging also for others if they can come continuously to come um, in the future. Yes, there is a saying, family that prays together stays together. So we're in, under the family of Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada's house. That at least once a week, that would be nice. It's, uh, we're absorbed in Grihastha family. Um, which is good because you have children. It's like Prabhupada says, for the mother, the children are the, the deities for the mother. Your first duty is to take care of your children. And therefore, uh, if the children also come, they're able to come on specific time of the week, then it'll be helpful for them to have a very strong, good foundation. Because as Prahlad Maharaj says, yeah, right from the very beginning, we have to take the process seriously, even at the age of five. So, yes, both the family uh, and the children, the parents and the children will immensely benefited by coming, um, especially Mangala Arctic, most auspicious time. Sometimes uh, they will wake up, the children, even though they're still falling asleep. But uh, sometimes it will be the children who will pull the parents to come. And parents will not have any choice in that way. So both ways um, is very, very auspicious. 
It's like the other day, I was, uh, we were giving a talk here, and the father and a small boy, smaller than that little girl there, um, barely able to walk, right? So as soon as they enter the temple door, this glass door, immediately the boy offer obeisances, even before his father. So I was surprised. This boy is hardly, <laughs> is hardly able to, he's just, just a young boy. Maybe he's just starting to walk or something. Yeah, then he came here. Then he looked at me. And then he went back to his father. So, yes, the samskara, it's ingrained, it'll be ingrained in their, in their consciousness, in their mind. How, you don't have to tell, it's like the children, you don't have to tell the children to bow down. Automatically they will bow down if they see the parents bowing down. And if they become used to it, then out of love now, or out of imitation, but they will see Prabhupada is being worshipped, deity is being worshipped and glorified. So it's very encouraging. And I hope that uh, yeah, the Grihastha initiated devotees, whether living across the street, not across the street. There's no street in between. Uh, some, you know, like this, the house there, or we have few properties here. But they are come. They're coming. It's very encouraging. And all the devotees, even the, within t 10 mile radius, if you don't live that far, uh, it's like Vrindavan, even old devotees, Bearer. They have a cane barely able to walk, but they will took the endeavor in coming uh, to the temple for our own benefit. It's part of sadhana. Okay, so we'll read from the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 8, Chapter 8, Texts 16 and 17. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Text 16 is that the right one? Yes? <coughs> oh, yeah, but there is no purport. Did you read the 16th? Oh, you did. But there is no purport for 16. You still read yesterday. Okay. So, 17. 17 and 18. Because there is no other, there is no purport also on the 18th. Oh, yes, but either I read the 18th or the next devotee who will give the class will read the 18th. It's the same. <laughs> yeah. We can see, we can try. Tata krita swasjayayanat palas rajam Do it again. It's not. It's very difficult. This one. Tata tata krita swasthaya yanat palas rajam. Nadad vire pang parigrya panina. Cha cha la bhaktram shakapola kundala. Cha 
sabri dahasam dadate susu bahanam. Tata krita swascaya yanat palas rajam. Nada dwire pang parigriya panina. Chacha la bhaktrang shukapala kundalam. Sabri dahasang dadati susubhanam. Somebody else? Tata Gita Swastaya Panat Palasajam Nadat Vire Pamparigya Panina Sakala Bhaktram Sukapola Kundalam Sabri Dahasam Dadati Sukodam Tata Krita Swasya Yanupala Srajam Tata Krita Swasya Yanupala Srajam Nadat Viripam Parigya Panina Thereafter, Krita Swastjayana, being worshipped regularly by all auspicious ritualistic ceremonies, Utpalas Rajam, a garland of lotuses. Nadat humming, dwire pam, surrounded by bumblebees, parigriya, capturing panina by the hand, chachala went on, vaktram face. Sukupola kundalam. Her cheeks decorated with earrings. Sabridahasam. 
smiling with shyness, dudhati, expanding, shushobhanam, her natural beauty. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thereafter, Mother Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, having been properly celebrated with an auspicious ritualistic ceremony, began moving about, holding in her hand a garland of lotus flowers which were surrounded by humming bumblebees. Similarly, with shyness, her cheeks decorated by her earrings, she looked extremely beautiful. Purport. The goddess of fortune, Mother Lakshmi, accepted the ocean of milk as her father but she perpetually rests on the bosom of Narayana. So many, many personalities, living beings appeared uh, from the oceans being churned between the demigods and the demons. And the first one, of course, <coughs> before these living beings appeared, it was the poison. Hmm. How is it? One may ask, oh, what's poison doing in the ocean of milk? Right? Milk is supposed to be nutritious, supposed to be very, very healthy. Nutrients, so many nutrients. Uh, one can gain uh, energy from drinking milk, but how come uh, poison came out first? Hmm. It's like when we start chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, uh, chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is all pure. We're supposed to, when we chant, cleanse our heart. So, but still, when we first chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we started to see our self. We started to see what's going on inside. All the filth comes out. But in the case, of, because the goal of, of the of how or why they are doing this churning of the milk is because uh, they want to attain Amrita, this nectar that will give one an immortal life. So similarly, just like when we chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, all the filth in our mind, in our heart comes out, but then the more we chant, uh, still keep on coming and coming. And then eventually, when we chant offenselessly, we started to relish and be able to see the Lord ultimately face to face. So this churning of the ocean of milk between the demons and the demigods, the purpose is to have an eternal life, but then it doesn't happen immediately. They have to work hard. They have to work hard. It's not that because, oh, yes, Kurma Dev is there. It's not, no, Kurma Dev, oh, how, how is that? Should be anything that Kurma or the Supreme Lord touch or have in contact with should be purified, ultimately. Hmm? No one, no one, as Prabhupada says, no one can serve the all pure if he is not pure. So right now also, we have so many contaminations within our heart, but the Lord is so merciful, He's allowing us to serve Him um, in His deity form, and also uh, chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. It's absolute nature of the Supreme Lord. 
so much anartas within our heart and still because of, of our uh, sincerity and we're trying to serve him in spite of this being unqualified he's still letting us um, serve him so the first living being that came uh, produce from after the poison has been consumed by Lord Shiva Lord Shiva is a savior of the fallen is a savior of the universe that the first living being came out from the churning manifest is uh, mother cow mother cow then after that many many more start to come out um, like horse I agree I Ravata, the elephant and then it came to the point that uh, Mother Lakshmi appeared. So that's why uh, the goddess Fortune is considering uh, Mother, she's a mother. Hmm. That means Mother, there is a father. And the father is Lord Narayan. But she considered herself, she is actually uh, just like. Uh, no human being can give birth to Mother Lakshmi. She's an expansion of Shimati Radharani. Just like Shimati Radharani, she's the personified uh, Heladini Shakti. She is the pleasure giving energy personified. She, she's the one who can please Krishna the most. She is the eternal consort of Lord Krishna. And in the spiritual world, she is the original goddess of fortune. Her expansions also, the cowherd maidens, the gopis in Vrindavan, they are there to assist Shimati Radharani in serving the Supreme Lord. And then further, Shimati Radharani expanded herself as the queens of Lord Krishna in Dwarka, headed by Rukmini. Rukmini also, she's none other than Radharani. Uh, in a different mood. Uh, Radharani expanded her, herself in practically unlimited. Um, the Acharya says there are three billion gopis. It's like uh, a little bit less than the population of planet Earth. Uh, planet Earth is like seven point something. We're he we were hearing, uh, we were in the Indian embassy program yesterday, so there is one speaker he was saying 7.6 billion people or something like this. So, but just, I mean, they're unlimited gopis, but just to give us uh, some figure so that we can grasp the, 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 the Acharya says there are 3 billion gopis, mm. practically unlimited. You cannot count in your fingers, practically. And then the, the queens of Dwarka. How many queens? 16,000? 108. 108. Ah, there's still 108. <laughs> Not just 16,000. <laughs> because 108 is very auspicious. There are 108 Upanishads. There are 108 main gopis. There are 108 beads in the Japa Mala. In, in Vedic culture, 108. This is what we say, uh, 108 again is there. So, yes, and then further e expansion of Shiva Radharani are the 
goddesses of fortunes, Lakshmi. Chintamani prakarasad masukalpa viksha, Lakshavite susurabhir avipalayantam, Lakshmi sahasra sata sangrama sevyamanam, Govindam adipurusam tamaham bojami. Even the cows of Nanda Maharaj, you know, they give a picture of uh, a figure of how many? 900,000 cows, nine lakhs. So it's still that is very, so much. How can you take care? Lord Krishna will take care of all of them when he uh, grew up. And then the goddesses of fortune, I didn't say how many. There is no, <laughs> there is no figure but Sahasra. Uh, Lakshmi Sahasra. Sahasra means like thousands. Not just one thousand. Hmm? Like Lord Brahma's Sahasra Yuga, Pariyantam. Thousand Yugas. This is the, the age of Lord Brahma. But then Sahasra, Lakshmi Sahasra, Samrama. It's unlimited. So, but the original Lakshmi is Shimati Radharani. And the first Lakshmi here, that man being manifest, um, yes, she accepted the milk as her father because she manifests from the milk. And she's always resting on the chest, bosoms, bosom of Lord Narayan. That white hair also is considered as Lakshmi. That white hair, grayish hair. Only Lord Vishnu has that feature. The Vishnu Dutas, uh, they don't have that. That is, a, you can distinguish who is Lord Vishnu because when you see the Vishnu Dutas or the agents of Lord Vishnu, the servants of Lord Vishnu, in the spiritual world, in Vaikuntha planets, uh, they have this uh, Sarjati? No. Sarupya. 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 Well, Sarjati, they have the same opulence. Salokya, they live in the same planet. But Samipya, uh, the same opulence, this. Yes, Sarupya means the same form, exactly the same form, the Vishnu Dutas. But uh, the only thing that this can be distinguished is this Sri, called Srivatsa. And that Srivatsa is compared to Lakshmi. Or that's why she's always on the chest. Um, she offers benediction even to Lord Brahma and other living entities in the material world. Yet she is transcendental to all material qualities. Mother Lakshmi, mother can give benediction to the children. Who is the father of Lord Brahma? Well, also, he doesn't have a father. It's the lotus flower that sprouted from the abdomen, navel, navel, not the abdomen, but specifically from the navel of Lord Narayan. Uh, Karna Dakasaya Vishnu, or no, Garbo Dakasaya Vishnu. Karna Dakasaya Vishnu, he's the one who glands the material world, uh, the Mahatattva. And then life ignited because of his glance. And then in every universe, there is a Garbhodakasaya Vishnu. There is only one Karnadakasaya Vishnu or, uh, yes, in that feature. And then, uh, yes, the in every universe there's a Garbhodakasaya Vishnu who also lie in the ocean of milk 
And then, just like when Lord Brahma, demigods always have a problem, they will go and see him. But they cannot, no, they can only hear him. So that, that uh, the father, that's why uh, it says that Lord Brahma is Ajja, is unborn because ultimately though his father is Lord Narayan. So that means... Mother Lakshmi, Narayan as the father, so Brahma is son, is a child. So the mother can give, especially when the mother is pleased with the children, she, she gives blessings, she always. Seems to be that her blessings is more powerful than the father. She always, uh, blessings is always there. It doesn't matter how child become rebellious or hmm, not cooperating or but the blessings is, that's why it says that because the child is spend more time closer to the mother spend how many months nine months right um, mother she She sacrificed much more than the father. Hmm. She, 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 she's there always to give blessings. So giving blessings to Lord Brahma and other living entities in this material world. She is transcendental to all material qualities. That means she is beyond the modes of material nature. This is the nature of Lakshmi Devi. Mm -mm. An example can be given this. Uh, compared to Lord Krishna or the Supreme Personality of Godhead, they may come to the material world for a specific duty or a specific activity that needs to be done, that the Lord is the only one who can do it. Uh, but he is not, he is not become under the jurisdiction of the material world. And Prabhupada gave an example, it's like uh, the jail superintendent, he may go inside the jail, but uh, prisoners may think, oh, look, he's like us also. He became like us. But the jailkeeper can go back and forth and no one can stop him. But he will there check what's going on, if everything is okay. If all the uh, things that needs to be taken care of for the benefit of the prisoners, he will check. But uh, he's not... He cannot be like, oh, once he comes to the jail, that's it. He also becomes a prisoner. No, it's not. Um, another example is like the lotus flower. Lotus flower is in the water. But it is not wet. It's waterproof. Hmm. It's waterproof. It, 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 you can pour and pour and pour water on the... You've seen lotus flower, right? Like uh, water lily flower or something like that. So, yes, it's not, it's not wet. So, similarly, Mother Lakshmi may have come out from, from uh, the milk ocean, uh, but she's not a product. Of, ultimately, she's not a product of the milk. It's just a way how Lakshmi will appear in this world. Just like Shimati Radharani. Shimati Radharani, she doesn't have a father also, but from all we know, her father is King Vishavanu and mother is Kirtida. But King Vishavanu is not, because she took, oh, she's been taking care of Mother Kirtida and Vishabhanu, the father. Huh? But this is not from the womb of Kirtida. 
her, she came from a uh, lotus flower one day um, King Bishop Anu was about to do perform his duties so he went to Yamuna and then he saw this golden lotus flower and uh, there's a small baby there hmm. Well, there's another story about that. You know, it's like her, her. Uh, actually, she has a twin sister, Chandravali. Yes. In any case, uh, so yes, Lakshmi Devi, she is transcendental to all these material qualities because she's not of this world. She's an expansion of. Shemati Radharani. Although she appeared to have been born of the ocean of milk, she immediately resorted to her eternal place at the bosom of Narayana. That means she didn't really spend so much time. These only children, they, will, they'll, they have to spend some time till uh, they go to college or sometimes even only up to high school. And then when, when they... When, it, when they reach the age of uh, going to university or college, they'll be separating their ways. They'll, they'll, they live on their own. Like in, 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 uh, in the West, US, Canada, or this part of the world, the uh, children doesn't stay too long also with their parents. As soon as they think that they can manage on their own and they don't need the help of the parents, they will just kind of, they're on their own. And you cannot stop them. Isn't it? And unlike in, uh, in Asia, we were talking about this previous meeting here. In Asia, the, the bondage of the family is so strong that in one household, in a house, uh, you can see like three generations there. <laughs> and they're all, they're all still together. They don't, they don't uh, go separate ways. The grandparents, uncles, auntie, brothers and sisters, they're all grown up and they have children and grandchildren, they're all in one, you know, they may not be big, but they're still stick together. So here, Mother Lakshmi, she uh, immediately uh, left uh, not immediately, but even though she was born of the ocean of milk, she didn't, yeah, immediately, immediately, the word Prabhupada, she immediately resorted to her eternal place in the bosom of Narayan. Immediately, uh, she went to perform her eternal service beyond the chest, and also, we always see that Mother Lakshmi She's uh, massaging uh, the lotus feet of Lord <coughs> Vishnu or Lord Narayan. And she's considered to be very, very chaste. Very, very chaste. She, she, uh, she's one of the examples in the Sastra to be chaste. Queen Kunti, Draupadi, Madri. Lakshmi also. Well, how can we say, oh, Draupadi to be chased? She has uh, five husbands. Supposed to be chased, only one husband. Dedicated, isn't it? Well, she's chased also in that, in that way. That she, because she equally serves all of them. Because the... Uh, when Queen Kunti says, well, then you can, you can share. 
you can share. And Quinton T doesn't have any idea that what I was brought is a wife. And then all the brothers just shared and everybody shared means they, they serve each other in the sense. So yes, uh, goddess of fortune, Lakshmi Devi, she's also very, very chaste. And this is one of the qualities of the woman that makes them powerful. Chastity. And also one of the weapons of the woman is crying. That is power also. <laughs> Especially when they cry. Hmm. Because they're kind of emotional, sentimental. And if they want if they want something, whose phone is this? Somebody forgot the phone? Yeah. Yes. Uh, if they want something, they will show their crying. And they'll be able to get it. Is that true? Yes or no? <laughs> They're laughing. That means it's true, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, and chastity also. Being chaste, is, that means very powerful. Um, they, they lose their power uh, again in Kali Yuga in a sense because they want to compete. They want to be equal with men. No, the women, they have their own specific duties and the men, they have their own specific duties. We cannot interchange. Sometimes it could be interchanged, but there are specific things that cannot, men cannot do and only women can do and then women, men can do like the women but then there are more things that the man can only do and the woman cannot do. And uh, yes, the beauty of the woman is her chastity. Right. It's not external. It's more internal. In the West, again, they think the beauty of the woman is by decorating themselves and exposing their body. It is not. In India, they wear sari and they, they put um, part of the sari on, on their head. Yes. No one can see naked. The woman cannot be seen naked. Only the husband can see. And it says that in, in really in the Vedic times, uh, sometimes, you, you've seen in India, of course, you know, they, they cover their, their face completely. And then if they want to see, they, they can look very, very small part like this. Jai Sri Sri Radha Madhava Sri Sri Jagannath Baladeva Subhadra Sri Sri Gornitai Guru Parampara Ki Jai He says that even you know the wife of Advaita Acharya Sita Thakurani you cannot you cannot see her face that even the sun cannot see her face. When, when she went, because at the time of the appearance of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so word spread, 
that Mother Sachi gave birth to a very beautiful boy. So she wanted to see the boy with so many presents. She's the one who gave Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the name Nimai for protection because he was born also under the Nim tree. That when she went with her assistants, because they're very uh, wealthy also, she was carried in a palakin. In those days, a palakin, you, you cannot see who's inside. There's no way you cannot see. So, yes, yeah, she's also an emblem of chastity, very chaste. So, Mother Lakshmi, likewise, um, she is being chased. But one thing, she wanted to go and see also uh, the Rasalila. The Rasalila of Radha and Krishna. And that's why when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he went down south and he met the, who's the father of the Gopalbat? Bhankatabhata. Yeah, I think we've been there also. Where is this? Siranga. Siranga. Yeah, it's a big temple there where you have to take bath. You have been there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, there's like how many, you know, like kundas or wells, or like 108 also, so many. And then before entering, you have to take bath. Anyway, in all those different water, uh, reservoir water. And I was amazed when we, when we had the darshan of the Lord, the, when the Lord is lying down, right? Yeah. Like three parts, three out, the altar is three parts, three doors. Kerala, It's in Kerala. It's in Kerala. Oh, okay, that's this. But there, there is this one, one place where you have to take bath many times. Is that in Sri Ranga? No. So, but, Rameswara? Okay, okay. I, f I forgot now how many where, where the Lord is uh, lying down. And there are three sets of doors. And we, you have been there? No. <laughs> so when you open the door, first door, you see the head. And then this, the middle door, and you see the body. And then the third door, you see the lotus feet. Yes. So, yes, there's another, another one where, yeah, being katabat. And uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was asking because he's, he's a devotee of Lakshmi Narayan. So he was asking, um, why is it that your Lakshmi cannot? Can it enter the Rasa Lila? Uh, the main, the well, to make the story short, is because uh, of her mood. Her mood is that of awe and reverence. Unlike in Vrindavan, is uh, spontaneous. Um, so, yes, but to reach the place where Lakshmi Devi and Lord Narayan resides in the Vaikuntha planets, it's not so easy also. We think, oh, we're, we're, uh, to, because we're followers of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so he says the best um, example whereby whom we can follow are the inhabitants of Vrindavan, the Brajabhasis, in their relationship with the Supreme Lord, um, to reach Goloka Vrindavan, then we have to follow in their footsteps. And in Vaikuntha Loka also, I mean, how, how you can go so easily there? Not so easy. What to say of Goloka Vrindavan? So even just to reach Vaikuntha planets, it's considered as very, very auspicious. It's, uh, it's a great privilege, it's an honor, it's like, it's a perfection of life.
We have to work hard to go back home, back to Godhead. It's not so easy. Um, it is not impossible, but the process we have to follow accordingly. Some, they, they're more attracted with Lakshmi Narayan, and therefore by serving the Lord in that mood, one will reach there someday. Um, right now, I mean, few, few of our devotees, they're, they're, they've reached uh, a certain level of purification that actually they have love for Krishna. Radha Krishna, Radha Madhava. Right now we're just uh, on the training. We're being educated, we're being asked to follow all of these different procedures, the process. And uh, hopefully one day, someday, by the mercy of the Supreme Lord also, without the mercy of the Supreme Lord, we cannot go back to Godhead. That's our motto, going back to Godhead. But one can be also, even in this lifetime, if one is pure enough, not committing any offenses, um, always glorifying the Supreme <clears throat> Lord in His name, fame, form, qualities, and pastimes, one can also be uh, in that vaikuntha, or that mood of the residence of Vrindavan. The mood uh, uh, of the residence of Vrindavan is that they're always remembering Krishna and they're not forgetting Krishna. Hare Krishna. So we stop here. Do you have any points in this? <clears throat> Yes, Prabhu. Thank you, Elish Maharaj, for a very wonderful, nice uh, kata. Uh, one small question, Maharaj. Mm -hmm. When Mother Lakshmi appeared from the ocean of milk, mm -hmm. did she join with Garboda Kusai Vishnu or Shiva Kusai Vishnu? Or well, it says here with Narayan. Yeah, so they're she, both. They're both. They're eternally. It's like Tulsi Devi. Where is Tulsi Devi? Is, is she here in Baltimore or is she in Potomac? <laughs> is she in New York, ISKCON New York, or is she in ISKCON London? Or is she in Krishna Balaram Mandir? Where is she? <laughs> Everywhere, simultaneously. Where is the sun? Oh, the sun is like here in Baltimore, no? <laughs> <laughs> you go to New York, as Prabhupada says, when, when, it's, uh, when the sun is on the horizon, in the middle of the horizon, everyone will say, oh, the sun is on top of my head. But there is only one sun. We have to understand these things through examples, through analogy. Uh, we cannot grasp this, you know. It's very difficult. But Prabhupada always gives analogies. There are similarities. In this way, it's easy for us to comprehend, to understand. Is that okay? Thank you, Mother. <laughs> so, as for my understanding, so she is there in both the places. Simultaneously. Simultaneously. Like Krishna, simultaneously. <laughs> In all the universes, it's like Prabhupada says, it's like the, the, the sun, in one place the sun is rising, and uh, the, the, in one place the sun is like at 7 o'clock horizon, 10 o'clock, you know, like this. So, yes, Lakshmi Devi is present everywhere also, in the material world, along with Lord Narayan, Lord Vishnu. Mm -mm. Because wherever there is Lord Vishnu, Lakshmi is there. Right? 
and these Purusha avatars, Purusha avatars, Mahavishnu or yes, Garbhadakshai, Shirdakshai Vishnu. That means Lakshmi is there. And if not personally Lakshmi is there, then this Srivatsa. That's, you know, the Paramatma we don't see. And there's a picture of Paramatma there, science of self-realization. Where, where is Lakshmi there? So Lakshmi is there in the Srivatsa <coughs> form. So this is how she first manifests in this... Uh, yeah, as a person. Yes, this is this is this is the dawn of creation. This some of the millions and millions of years ago. Before. Does this pastime happen to every yuga or? Uh, it's, it, it changes in such a way, that like in every kalpa, it's like uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also comes every kali yuga, but he doesn't give braja prem. He gives by Kunta prayer. Does the Mahalakshmi appear in every kalpa? Like the um, that, that, but see, if the pastime is there, mm -hmm. then she will appear. But, you know, that's how it is. It's like Krishna appears every uh, one day of Lord Brahma also. Hmm? And, her, and, and the father. The father and the mother is always uh, Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yasoda. Nobody else. <clears throat> Lord Ram appears also. Whenever he appears, who is his father? Dasarat. And? Kausalya. This is fixed. We cannot be, I cannot be, you cannot be the father of Lord Krishna. But you can be in the mood of a father of Lord Krishna, if that is your eternal relationship with Krishna. It's like Putana. Putana says that she is a mother also of Lord Krishna in the spiritual world, but not like Mother Yasoda, like a nurse, like, you know, taking care of. Okay? Yeah. Because nectar has to come out first. You don't you don't get nectar. Just like we gave an example again of chanting. But you again mentioned that the lotus tortoise of God is there inside okay. The what? Tortoise. Tortoise is there. But she the, 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 the see the function of the tortoise is to become the fibbit. There is no no one else can be like pivot of this churning because no one can handle the mandara mandara mountain right it's heavy but for kurma dev is like krishna lifting over that hill even like you know when he was lifting over that hill the the young gopas they were or the elderly gopas also they they think but the elderly gopas, they think that he may tilt and they will get devastated, so they put their sticks also. <laughs> they, put, <laughs> they put their sticks so that, you know, hey, now we're safe. But Balaram, he's just smiling and he was looking. This is very interesting. Because he knew that Krishna will not Will be, he is be, he'll be able to hold the mountain, go over that. So, Kurma is there. And Kurma also, his back is itching. It's like, you know, in, in India also, in the Philippines, we have this stick that has like a hand shaped like this. So, when it's, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, during the day, uh, it's itching. So this is the Lord's pastime. And that's the only way how he can be relieved from this itching sensation. I think maybe if I understand your question properly, because Kormadev is in the mid oceans underneath. Mm -hmm. It should be pure, the ocean should be pure. Yeah, th this we mentioned already in the beginning, no? 
The holy name is pure. Why can't he make it pure right now? We still have thoughts, bad thoughts, sinful activities coming out, in and out. I gave this, remember, in the beginning? You see, as I said, we cannot understand this, but we have to give examples. How it's beyond our grasp. But if we can see in our mind, how are these things you compare? I gave so many analogies. If I don't have any analogies to give you, we'll not be able to understand what is this. You follow? Similarities. But this is, as Prabhupada says, oh, this is a crude example. Crude means we're, we're, we're trying to understand spiritual topics and we're giving material examples because that is only what we can grasp. Now, the materialist, they cannot understand this immediately because you're all chanting, you're all following regulative principles, your brain tissues is up to a certain extent, is refined. But if you talk like this immediately to general class of people, they may understand up to a certain extent, but they need a lot of purification to fully understand what we're talking here. And that's why it's good. The, the Srimad Bhagavatam is like a nectar. We churn it. We churn we turn and it, it becomes more and more ambrosial. It becomes more and more nectar. Okay? Sunday feast, we can talk like this also, but many of them are newcomers. So that's why we speak on the Bhagavad Gita. We speak on, 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 on the basics first. See, from short purport, we, we churned it. We, we uh, talk a little bit more. So I'm encouraging you once again, please try to come on Saturdays if that is the time when you can come because you have workloads, responsibilities as parents with your children and try to spread it also with other um, initiated devotees who are sincere as well and they, 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 they can have. It's really nice to see you this morning. I thought it was like, I was surprised <laughs> when I came this morning. <laughs> the, 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 whole, the whole temple room is, is it's like full room. I thought, uh, I was like, you know, am I waking up now or something? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, not ma I've, I've been to many temples in this lockdown period. I've never seen this much devotees attending um, in the morning program. And I hope that you'll be able to continue this for your own benefit, for your own good, for your own well-being. And it's uh, very good also for your children. I know it's not the right time yet for them to be, but uh, they're fully awake, especially this young lady here. <laughs> how, many how many rounds you chanted? You can see how many rounds you chanted? How many? One? one? Well, one is the best. Very good. And you young boys, you chant also in the morning? Yeah. How many? Three. Two. Good. 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 Next birthday, you have to add one round each. Okay? When is your birthday? May. May. Okay, so that'll be uh, next year. <laughs> It'll be four. Okay? And you? Oh, good. Good. And you? December. December? Oh, it's coming up. <laughs> so now, now you're going to be taking over him? No. When, when he gets to me, he'll be ahead of you. Okay. Okay. You have any comment, Nilamada Prabhu? Thank you, Maharaj. 
I think uh, Monday Maharaj will be going, and I think tomorrow we have another lecture, but we're very thankful. I think it's been just a wonderful journey with you, Maharaj. You've been here. I think you just uplift our, all our spirits, actually. You're just like, you know, you're coming here. Uh, it's really nice. And I think uh, we're very fortunate that Maharaj will be coming back to us during Karthik time, and he'll spend the Karthik with us. So it'll be really wonderful. Hopefully, I'll be able to come back as soon as I can because there's some work needs to be done. <coughs> Uh, this is our <coughs> group actually, we, we took a vow, I think we have a conference call and out there and we would be like 12 to 13 devotees. Okay. We said we have to increase our preaching because we can't just be sitting at home. So all these devotees vowed that, you know, we'll try to come for at least Mangal Arthur Guru Puja sure. on Saturdays and try to regularly sure. do some service in the temple. They all, we all said vow to God. I'm sure Prabhupada is, is happy that you are doing this endeavor. Uh, in, in spiritual life, without, without endeavor, uh, you don't make advancement. We cannot just sit around and wait for the mercy to come. Uh, through our endeavor and trying, and especially uh, spreading, giving others opportunity to take up to the same process, Krishna will We'll be, we'll get our notice. We'll be noticed by the Supreme Lord. This is actually our goal, to be noticed by Lord Krishna, to get the attention of Lord Krishna. And Krishna cannot be noticed without our endeavor. So we're happy, yes. I've been to many temples. Many devotees are sincere, uh, but here in America, I mean, they're all sincere also, but because of the opulence, because of the situation where they are, it's like the convenience, the facilities, uh, the, the trying there, the endeavor to to give spiritual life the priority is not number one. They're being diverted. So many diversions here. So many. So much. But in other places, they don't have so the same facilities, the environment. They're very sincere. Yes, I've been to many places in the world, each on their own, they're, they're, they're actually they're trying to become Krishna conscious. Others, it's easier to become Krishna conscious. Others, it may take a long time. So you're very fortunate. Hmm? Continue doing so, and then uh, you'll reap the reward in the end. Okay? Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Dai Gaur Pramanandi. Hari Hari Bo. Uh, no, only if you're not there, Maharaj. <laughs> 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 <laughs>